Hello everybody and welcome to Two Ways to Soothe. In this tutorial we're going to learn two fast and easy ways to make objects to help with any type of injury, a muscle strain, a cut up from your finger or burn, little things that will help soothe and make you feel all better. We're going to be making today a do-it-yourself rice pack that can be heated or frozen and a little bunny friend that you can slip an ice cube into. The bunny is especially great for parents of children who might need a little bit of extra comforting. So to start we're going to make our own rice pack. For this project you want to use material, needle and thread, uncooked rice, scissors and a ruler. For your material, we're only going to need a very little bit as our pack is only going to be 3 by 6 inches. You'll want to use a fabric that is 100% cotton so it can safely go in the microwave. I chose some scrap flannel that I had lying around to give it just that extra little bit of warmth and comfort. So to start, I'm just going to unfold my material and then at this end, I'm just going to fold it over a little bit just enough where I'll be able to measure out the size I need for my rice bag. As I said before, this bag is going to be 3 by 6 inches. You can make it larger or smaller depending on what you need. You'll just need to change the amount of rice used inside the bag depending on your size. You can measure directly onto the material with a ruler. Or if you have a cutting mat for fabric, you can use that one as well. I have a pre-measured template I used a piece of cardstock for, so I'm just going to lay this out here. One tip, instead of cutting out two separate rectangles and then having to sew them together at four sides, I'm going to leave my material folded over here and place my template on the fold. That way it will be already measured out and I'll just have to sew up the three sides. So I'm just going to take a pen, since this isn't a very formal project, and go ahead and outline the template onto the fabric. Okay, so that's all out. And then once I have it outlined, I'm just going to cut it out. So now that I have my template cut out, I'm ready to start sewing. I'm just going to grab my needle and go ahead and thread it. Now I'm only going to want to sew these first two sides closed, leaving one side open in order to fill it with the rice. You can use a sewing machine for this part if you prefer, or you can hand sew. I'm going to cut a few corners and just do a quick hand sew around the sides, not worrying about securing anything with pins to make sure it stays exactly even. I'm just going to go ahead, give myself a little bit of seam allowance, and get started pulling the thread through. I've got my knotted, I'm just going to flip it over and make a small little stitch coming through to the other side and pulling it tight with the traditional back and forth hand sewing. Again, if you're an accomplished sewer, please feel free to use whatever method you find fits you the best. I'm just going to do a quick hand sew here for this video. Okay, so I've sewed up one end and I've reached the corner. I'm just going to make a turn and keep going up, sealing up this end. <clears throat> if you're not into sewing, it's just not your thing, that's fine. There is a no-sew method for this project as well. Take a clean sock that you lost the partner to and go ahead and fill it with uncooked rice and tie off the end. Then you'll be able to put that in the microwave as well, achieving the same results. For our sewn version, 
I've gone up two sides, leaving one side open, and I've knotted off my thread, so I'm just going to snip it. I'm going to go ahead and turn my little pack inside out so the right side of the material is facing out. I have here my bag of uncooked rice and a tablespoon measure just to help get things in there. I'm just going to scoop up a tablespoon and just carefully slide it in. If a few little kernels fall out, no big deal. I'll just pick them up later. So I'm not going to fill this all the way so the rice still has room to move inside. I'm just going to give it about three quarters of the way full. So I put in about five to six tablespoons of uncooked rice. I'm just going to return the measuring spoon to the container and seal it up. Now I've got my little rice baggie all ready to go. I just need to close this last side. I'm going to sneak one more little rice kernel in. So just kind of like wrapping a present, I'm just going to fold in these sides here just so you don't see that ragged edge of the material. I'm just going to go ahead and seal it shut. I'm just going to go ahead and slide my thread in and go ahead and then just sew across to close up the rice bag. Okay, now that I've got this last side sewn up, I'm just going to trim off the thread, stick my needle back into the thread for use on a later project, wrapping the extra round so it doesn't get tangled in anything. And there you go, I, my very own DIY rice bag. Now hypothetically, let's say I hurt my wrist one day at work, pulled a muscle. I can go ahead and pop this in the microwave for about 20 seconds, 30 at the most, and then just go ahead and lay it out to soothe the injured area. Alternatively, if you prefer a cold compress, you can also stick it in the freezer and just leave it there in a the little Ziploc bag so you can have a nice cold pack when you need one. Uh, now that we've completed our rice bag, I'm just going to go ahead and move those pieces off to the side. <laughs> I'm going to show you one more cute little option for a DIY soother the little washcloth bunny. These are also called little boo-boo bunnies. They're great for young children who are injured, just need a little bit of extra comfort, or even adults who just want something that's a little cute instead of the traditional ice packs. So we have one here that's just a simple one, and then on the next one I'll show you how to build it and add a little bit of personal flair. This does work better with a softer washcloth than is one that might be a little stiff from old age. So I'm just going to use this one. It got, accidentally got bleached so it doesn't look as pretty anymore, but it's still perfectly useful for this. Starting at these alt 
opposite corners on the diagonal. I'm just going to roll them in till they meet in the center. Well, there we go, and you can see there's a little crease opening here, almost like a little hot dog bun. So I'm just going to pick it up and Oops, flip it over and fold it in half so this crease side, creased opening here stays on the outside. And then I'm going to take it so these two ends are pointing towards me and I'm going to fold it in half one more time leaving a little bit of a bulge here. That's going to be the bunny's face. I would take a rubber band and just slide it around and one more time and then just separate the two ends to make the little bunny's ears. And there you have it, a little boo-boo bunny. Now you can leave your bunny like this, just simple, undecorated. If you want to use it with small children, that may be preferable so you don't have to worry about anything coming off. That could be a choking hazard. If you want to decorate it and give your bunny a little bit of a personality, Oops. Just grab some fabric glue or tacky glue. I've got a clear tacky glue here and I'm going to use a couple of little googly eyes and a couple of little pom-poms. One smaller and one bigger. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on the back of one eye. And then go ahead and Stick it on the bunny's face. It doesn't have to be exact, just kind of a rough approximation. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other eye. And then using the smaller pom pom, I'm just going to give our little bunny here his own nose. And flipping him around, I'm just going to attach a little tail. Now before gluing the tail down, I'm just going to open it a little bit so you can kind of see. It's almost like a little bowl where the fold meets. I'm just going to attach the tail right between the two sides of the crease, just like so. So now that our little bunny is complete, you can just slide an ice cube right here in this little indentation and then use it as to soothe any kind of burns or sprains. So if you're crafting or cooking and you get a nasty burn on your hand, you can just go ahead, pop an ice cube right in his little back and then go ahead and put him on. Just like the rice bag, you can leave the bunny inside the freezer in a little Ziploc bag all the time. So when you need him, he's already cold. This will also keep the ice cube frozen a little bit longer. She's... Like I said before, these are great for little kids who might need a little extra soothing. And it's sometimes adults need a little extra comfort and soothing too. Well, there you go. So the next time you have an injury or a headache or anything that just needs a little bit of warmth or cool to soothe, these are a couple of fast and easy projects you can put together to help soothe yourself. I hope you guys had as much fun learning how to make DIY rice bags and little washcloth bunnies as much as I had showing you these different techniques. I hope you'll be making your own and sharing photos of your creations with us in the comment sections of this video. Don't forget to stay tuned to the library's website and social media for our upcoming great programs. We've got some wonderful things planned in the spring and I can't wait to see you all at the next one. Bye!